Thank you for giving up the time to listen to our presentation. My name is Dr Adam Jansen and I'm the Medical Director of Complete Weight Loss Surgery. I work with Mr Roger Berry and Mr Paul Artai and we have developed a practice that is solely related to the surgical treatment of obesity. Our central rooms are located in East Hawthorne and the surgeons operate in a number of private hospitals in Melbourne. You'll hear from Roger who will outline the definitions of obesity and go through the causes and consequences. Uh, we'll then hear about the surgical options and go into some specifics about lap band surgery. Towards the end of the presentation, we are lucky enough to have Mr Andy Sporting. Andy's had a lap band and his story is truly inspirational. I'm sure he'd also be happy to take questions as well. So that's enough from me and I guess without any further delay, may I introduce Mr Roger Berry. Roger is a general surgeon with a particular interest in upper gastrointestinal surgery, which includes surgery for obesity. Thanks, Roger. All right, thank you very much, Adam, for, for that introduction. I'm going to take you through today the diagnosis of obesity, some of the uh, treatment options for obesity, and particularly the surgery of lap banding for obesity. The, the obesity epidemic is here. It's a rapidly expanding problem in Australia and around the Western world, or the developed world. About one in five people in Australia are obese, and many patients are overweight. In the last 20 years, there's been a doubling of the rate of obesity in, in Australia. As a result of obesity, particularly severe and morbid obesity, there are major health problems, there are psychosocial problems and difficulties with day-to-day -day life. You can see from this graph that uh, as the body mass index uh, rises, the risk of death from uh, obesity-related health issues increases exponentially. The takeoff point is in the overweight range at 27 and it increases rapidly from there. The diseases associated with obesity wouldn't all fit on this slide. The common diseases that we see are type 2 diabetes, hypertension and lipid disorders and you can see that there are another of other health problems uh, that arise from obesity. None of you need to be told that there are psychological impacts from obesity. These affect our self-esteem, our mood and our social life as well. Uh, it's difficult to sit in uh, seats in public, uh, fit through turnstiles uh, and buy uh, clothes that we like to, to, to wear. The non-surgical treatment of obesity you've all been through. We've all been through diet and exercise programs, behaviour modification programs, weight loss clinics or weight loss programs and even medical uh, treatments for obesity uh, such as drugs that suppress our appetite. Weight loss reduction programs usually start in January each year. Uh, the, the chance of a patient getting through the full 52 weeks of the year uh, is very, very low. Most patients drop out of, uh, of their weight loss program quickly. Surgery is a little bit different. The goals of obesity surgery are to improve health, improve quality of life, increase lifespan. This is not a cosmetic operation. There are different types of operations that are used uh, surgically uh, to bring about weight loss. In general, the two groups are mal malabsorptive procedures, where the digestive tract is shortened to reduce the chance of absorption of food and nutrients, and restrictive procedures. Restrictive pro procedures reduce how much the stomach can hold. We can combine these two in a more complex procedure, uh, adding both malabsorption to restriction. These diagrams uh, show the different types of procedures. The gastric bypass procedure, a vertical banded gastroplasty or an old stomach stapling operation and the newer procedure which we'll concentrate on, the lap band system. If we were devising the ideal anti-obesity operation, it would be minimally invasive, it would be very safe, it clearly would have to be effective in bringing about weight loss and uh, health gains. It'd have to be effective long term, there'd be a low reoperation or revision rate. Side effects would be low. We could continue to do this operation over time. It would be fantastic if it could be adjustable and readily reversible. The lap band system addresses some of these issues. The lap band is a silicon band placed around the upper part of the stomach. This creates a small pouch that holds a small volume of food. It induces the feeling of satiety or not feeling hungry. 
This animation shows the band positioned high around the stomach. Food comes into the pouch, which is very small, so only a small volume of food will be uh, allowed in. And then it's slowly released into the remaining part of the stomach. The combination of the restriction of the band, the small pouch, and its small volume means that you'll feel satisfied quickly, less hungry in between meals, and will eat small amounts of food. This cartoon takes us through the lap band procedure. It shows the placement of the camera and ports for the instruments to do the surgery. The band is introduced around the neck of the stomach, secured in place, and then the tubing connected to a port which sits on the abdominal wall for easy access for adjustments post-operatively. One of the advantages of the lap band system is its adjustability. Once it's positioned around the stomach, we can then add fluid or volume to the band, which will narrow the opening at the top of the stomach. This will increase the restriction and slow the emptying of the small pouch above. These adjustments are made by the surgeon in the rooms. They can be, uh, fluid can be added or removed, making the band tighter or looser as necessary, depending on weight loss, appetite, hunger and other symptoms. A well-adjusted band is, uh, is uh, safe, achieves steady but good weight loss week by week. We estimate that about half to one kilogram of weight is lost per week and you'll be able to eat most solid foods. There'll be some ex exceptions but most foods will, in small volumes will go through the band. Unfortunately there are no limits on liquids liquids will pass through the band unrestricted and we never recommend high calorie liquid intake. With the lap band system in place and well adjusted you'll feel satisfied with a small amount of food. You'll still be able to enjoy meals and eat out with your family and friends. As you lose weight you can begin to exercise and from time to time you will need to be reviewed by the surgeons in the rooms for band adjustments. All operations carry a risk. The lap band has a low complication rate and is safe. There are complications associated with the band and the port, but these are rare. The chance of a complication associated with the band is around the 1 in 100. Who is suitable for a lap band procedure? A patient with a BMI of 35 with obesity related comorbidities and patients with a BMI of at least 40 all qualify for a lap band operation. Lap bands are placed all around the world, with more than 200,000 people worldwide having a lap band procedure. There are more than 16,000 in Australia to date, and this is increasing every year. Morbid obesity is a chronic medical illness that has long-reaching health consequences and is caused by multiple factors. The lap band system is safe, gentle, effective, adjustable, and if needed, completely reversible. If you think the lap band system is for you, contact your general practitioner, ask for a referral to complete weight loss surgery, and we can schedule an appointment as soon as possible. Great, thanks again, Roger. Now we're lucky enough to have Mr. Andy Spalding with us. He needs no introduction. Andy? Thanks, Adam. Hi, I'm Andy. Three years ago I had lap band surgery and I'd like to share a little bit of my story with you uh, about the process of losing weight with a lap band. After many years of trying to lose weight through uh, conventional traditional methods, uh, gym programs, uh, diets, exercise, pills and uh, always losing four or five kilos, losing motivation and putting it back on, I decided that I needed something that was a more sustainable solution. So uh, I'd heard about lap band surgery but didn't really know too much about it. So I booked in for an information seminar and went along and found out that the lap band was quite a, a livable, adjustable tool and decided that it would be uh, the way I was going to lose my weight. The, uh, the surgery at the very beginning of the process was uh, a, a little bit uh, of an unknown, what, what life was going to be like uh, and what the procedure was going to be like, but it was actually uh, very easy. Uh, I went in in the morning, had the surgery that day, uh, stayed overnight, and went home, sat on the couch for a week, didn't really want to move around too much, 
uh, let myself get over the actual surgery and then I found after five to seven days I was moving around.